good technique, he will be elite. If his technique becomes great, not just good, then he's a Hall of Famer. Fighting through contact, fighting through offensive line, being a double team, multiple moves stacked into one, just a play of pure domination. This is actual film, this is actual football talk. It's a football show, we're supposed to talk football, not storylines. Speed could have gotten more, okay, outside zone. Uh, and, again, this is, this is being pretty nitpicky. Um, now, in terms of, of, of his reads for, for outside zone, he's going to start from the edge, which is Garrett. He's comboed. These guys have outside leverage. He's going to take the outside right off the jump. And he has speed to do it, that's for sure. Um, helmet, read it, cut inside, pretty simple. Now, there are times where, like, I, I think he could break down a little bit and get a little bit more, but he kind of just runs with a full head of steam. You know, um, are there elite running backs who would have pressed this up a little bit and, and then maybe jump cut and got outside? Yes. Is it an easy ask to do for anybody to do that? No, it's not. So being fully transparent, it's not a bad thing at all. I, I, I could have gotten more with a question mark, you know. At this point, we're watching, like, could he have cut, cut outside? Yes, he could have. It might have not even been a good decision if he if he wasn't able to break down and get outside like that because of his outside leverage and how far he was. So nothing to you know to uh, note. It's not, it's not really very noteworthy in terms of could have got outside. Um, you're going to see a lot of speed from him, acceleration. Obviously, um, he's able to make quick cuts even for his height. Now he's able to make quick cuts, and he always does make quick cuts is a different conversation um, that typically has to do with footwork and how high you're running. But when he is, it's typically his quick cuts come from when he's running full speed or, or when he's running with, with good speed, um, he's able to cut good at that, at that speed. Now in terms of like breaking down, decelerating, jump cutting, not the best one is height doesn't help. And we're going to talk about some of his footwork and why um, that isn't the case for him. But Speed, and again, another gun set. Pin and pull from the center to the, uh, and from the, and the guard. Everybody pins down, they pull. Pin and pull, sweep. There's so many different names for stuff, and, and pin and pulls and sweeps are always not, not always the same. Um, you know, but with that being said, both the center and the guard pull. Now, his read here, you know, like he, he sees the edge crash down and he doesn't want to commit early to the inside because if he were to knife this gap, he's, he's pretty much screw, well, not screwed at this point. He could, he could probably, you know, cut this back up field or bend this back up field um, when he's pressing outside. And he sees him widening, expanding. Um, 75 is, is, you know, defining the gap for him, you know, kicking him out. So he follows that. Helmets are all inside here. So he's just going to get skinny through this gap. You don't want to press up too much right here, obviously with this guy, um, showing outside leverage of this hat. And if you were to cut back, that's, that's, that's a fun decision too. Um, he is, it's, it's hard with backside pursuit. You can't really see it. And you have a, you have a free linebacker um, because obviously the whole offensive line is working heavy to the left. So cuts the field again, follows his blocks now inside versus outside. He's expecting his guy to take a good angle, cuts up field, touchdown. So again, just good speed for sure from Coleman. You can see even when he's running at full speed or near full speed, he definitely has um, good cutting ability. He's kind of twitchy. Stack cuts. It's pretty quick here, I believe, um, in terms of him stacking cuts. Just straight eye form left. They do this a lot in San Francisco. Um, 
where they don't necessarily, and, and, it, and it's a good thing to do. Um, because a lot of teams kind of, sometimes they give away their zones. Um, if they're like a heavy, uh, zone split team where, you know, let's say, uh, Juice check, or I think I think I think it's Juice check. Juice check. Uh, I think he's forty four, right? Like, there's plenty of teams who are are, are split zone team, and it would kind of tip people off if he's starting to cross the formation. Oh, they're running a split zone, and then you know linebackers key it or or whatever it may be. Um, Niners a lot have these like these punch steps with their fullback, and then he basically sifts and, and split blocks. It, it acts as the same thing. Um, so I, I like that little wrinkle that they put in their game because it doesn't give it as way as much. Um, and again, presses, presses up field, um, inside tight zone, reading the inside right here, hat inside. So he's going to press, uh, press even farther inside. Now he's pressing on the field. He's reading leverages, a lot of guys inside right here. So he goes to cut out then the picture more clearly defines itself. Now he, his, uh, whatever it is, left tackle, left guard, um, has a helmet inside. And then he's just going to press up the field. Take it. Nothing crazy, but just the ability to stack cuts right here. You're going to see, you're going to see this movement in full speed. The one, two, so we're talking about stacking cuts, sink low into it, open the foot, allow yourself to come over, over your hips in step, to explode off of it and again just tr just transition to feet the exact opposite of what it first was now it is again good job staying pretty patient here and just reading the blocks so again nothing crazy but um still a, still a good run secures the ball in traffic you'd like that two arm, two uh, two hands two arms on the ball lower his shoulder he always turns his he always turns his feet for the most part, and he's always falling forward for an extra couple of um, yards, which I like. Coleman outside zone. Okay. Okay, pretty pretty defined again. And they're running the uh, this, this split flow again. And presses outside. One. I know there's something that I'm not going to, I don't, don't want to go over too much because it's going to get boring if I start going over people's footwork. I, I know that Ben didn't love the footwork of some of these guys. This kind of went more back and he's on his toes. When you're on your toes, you tend to go, you go, you tend to go hor uh, horizontal instead of gaining ground which he doesn't love. And this guy kind of does the same thing where he goes, his step goes backwards. He wants it more leading. Um, two, three. I know he doesn't like this too. Elbows tight. He wants, he wants a push, not a shove. He's shoving a little bit regardless. Again, it, it'll be more interesting when I'm doing this with, with Morgan Moses and GVR Fant or Connor McGovern um, during the season. So we can discuss that more, but I just, I'm, I'm, you know, obviously this is the run scheme we're going to be running, but Takes hands off uh, the handoff, presses outside. What does he see? Again, hat, 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 hat. So where's he gonna cut? Press the outside, take the inside. Press the outside, take the inside. Even for a tall, even for like a, a slighter guy, he does maintain his balance pretty good through arm tackles. Even though there are times where he can get brought down by them too, like he's not Derrick Henry, he's not one of those guys. But for the most part, he turns through uh, forward through them. And for, again, I think he had like two fumbles in the last two years, whatever it was. I, I wrote it in the article. If you read that article, um, he has relatively good ball security from what I've seen. Where when he's coming into contact with people, he gets two hands in the ball. Um, again, driving forward for for more yards. You, you like that? There's guys who might have went down here, or even just smacked around here, but he drives forward for an extra two or three yards and lunges. So you like that. Um, power in terms of like power on the goal line and stuff. Don't love it. Um, you're definitely going to want to see a guy, I would say like Carter, even Carter, um, 
or P Ryan in this situation or Josh Adams, depending. I, again, I think it's the Jets carry four backs, um, not including Wesco. And especially because one, Coleman has some injury problems. I think they're obviously carrying him. And two, they, they've emphasized they want to run the ball. So you don't want three running backs, one of them being, you know, um, kind of injury prone, one being a rookie and Ty Johnson not having a ton of experience. So you, I, I think they're going to carry four, whether it be P runner or, or um, Josh Adams as the four, as the four, I'm not sure, but I would prefer one of those guys, whoever that is in, in this situation. There are some guys who on the goal line run up the full set of uh, full, uh, full head of steam. Don't gear down into contact, explode through contacts. You only need a yard. Um, and you see some backs who kind of gear down. Everybody, everybody blocks down, they hand it off, you know, gap run. And you want to see him take this ball and just explode up the field. Everybody's down blocking. All your helmets are outside. Get tight to the outside right here where everybody's down blocking to and just explode off the ass of, of 19 right here. And you're going to see him kind of gear down and wait for the contact and try to stiff arm instead of just ducking his head and just exploding through the line. So don't love that. There's no, there's no reason to, to, to uh, gear down right there and try to cut outside, just full steam ahead. He doesn't get in for the touchdown. Um, long strides. This is, this is one of his biggest weaknesses is when he's pressing the line um and reading he tends to have really long strides long strides lead to to longer times to to break um you have to really sink your hips then obviously when you're when you're striding longer you're not able to cut we talk about this with pretty much every position whether it be from corner to receiver to offensive line to defensive line we've talked about this for pretty much everybody strides are important um so we're gonna watch them right here It it it, it 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 he he tends to take him a long time to 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 cut back. You can see right here how many steps it takes him. Again, takes the handoff um, outside, pin and pull action on the front on on the front side right here. Everybody leading outside, works his way outside where all of his blocks are going, which is good. Um, he has to get pretty horizontal here to avoid this block. He has to kind of dip into the backfield, lose to gain type deal. Um, but at this point, you're still reading the defense and not saying he doesn't want to continue to press outside because there's really not much open here, but he wants to be low, short stride to be able to cut back. And you're going to see him try to cut back here and it takes one, two, three, like four steps. And it, he gets contacted. I, I want to see more explosion here in terms of just his, his stride length because here it's long. One, two. See how long those strides are? And there's better example of, uh, examples of that coming up, but um, shorter strides would have definitely been conducive to, to a, a sharper break inside right there instead of kind of running into your offensive line and having to spin off of him. And how much would, we, would he have gained past that? Not much, let's be honest. But you still want to see good footwork. Um, process results type stuff. It's not, we're not just looking for, oh, look, this is an 80 yard play. It means it's good. This is a one yard gain. It means it's bad. I put up one yard, I put up three yard losses that are good for running backs. Um, press to get outside. Okay, I like that. This is more towards the towards the edge. So once once he, and that's that's what I'm talking about. It wasn't really in the beginning. Once he kind of bounces the run out, um, he doesn't want to. Well, he has two options really. Oh.